All right, so I've been uh, teaching for, uh, I guess this is my 12th year. Um, uh, I actually started while I was a full-time grad student um, at Blacksburg High School uh, coaching soccer. So I, I've coached 11 years. Um, yeah, and what got me into it was uh, I really like the idea of making an impact on young people. Okay, so this is, I've been teaching for 15 years. This is my 16th year, and this year I am teaching geometry and algebra two and advanced algebra two. Okay, so hi, my name is Casey Caps. I'm the chemistry teacher here at Radford High School. I have been teaching for, well, this is my first year, so it's kind of overwhelming. But I just graduated from Old Dominion University in May with my bachelor's in chemistry and I'm currently attending Virginia Tech and I'm taking um, my, well, I'm working on getting my master's in integrated STEM education. Hi, I'm Cindy Melton. I'm new to Radford High School. I teach PE and health. I have taught for, this will be my fifth year. I taught elementary school PE for three years and last year I worked sort of as a computer lab specialist um, over in Montgomery County. And I'd say what got me into teaching PE is that I used to be a member of a competitive jump rope team. And I just really value physical activity and taking care of yourself. And then I also come from a family of educators, so that plays into it as well. Hi, I'm Ms. Caldwell. This is my first year teaching at Rapper, but I've taught a couple other places, maybe like another full year. Um, what got me into teaching, I really enjoy working with the kids and helping kids learn. I love seeing them do make films and do videos. That's just, it, especially when it, it clicks with them. So it is 6.46 on the, 8th, the 24th of August, it is the Bradford at George Wythe game, and me and Bradford Acosta, my man, Bradford Acosta, a god by the way, he's single, um, we were driving to the game, and we were on I-81 South about 30 to 45 minutes ago, and there was, an, there was almost an accident. A bear had been hit. A baby black bear, I think it was. First time I've ever seen a bear in person. And it was in the middle of the road. And it was not alive. And four cars like slammed on their brakes and just stopped, like in place. And me and Brad, because we were on the interstate, we were going like 80, 70, something. So when we get like the diff the distance, like I'd say like five or ten feet to the car in front of us, he's still going like 30 because we were going fast and it was a sudden of the thing. A, in the moment thing. So the person in front of us goes to the left to try and avoid the cars in front of them and then Brad turns to the right and like nothing happens just freaking kept on cruising right behind this big old semi like nothing happened and then like five minutes later we were both like what? <laughs> and because of Bradford Acosta I am alive. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Painting with Parker. Today we're going to be painting some nice, pretty little flowers. 
you ever make any mistakes, we just call those happy little accidents. Yeah, we're just gonna mix in some green here and this is a nice and easy painting you can do at home too. Anybody can paint. Gotta take it nice and slow. It's okay if your flower might like a look a tad bit like mine, but it's all about baby steps in the right direction. I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. Join us next time for the completion of the flower.
think about senior quotes being taken out of the yearbook? I feel like uh, senior quotes being take out, taken out of the yearbook is unfair because um, I've been looking forward to having a senior quote in the yearbook for a very long time since even before I was in high school and also I think um, that the whole issue with copyright can easily be resolved if they just have us make sure that we absolutely know the source of our quote. Like, it's really not that hard in my opinion. What do you think of senior quotes being taken up? Um, I don't think it's a good idea. I think we should still have them because, I mean, they've had them all these years. Right when we get to senior year, they take them away. And I don't agree with that. It's pretty sour. Um, I feel low-key kind of upset that we don't have senior quotes anymore just because I personally picked out my own and it was really good. So, yeah, I'm not really a big fan about it. What do you think about senior quotes being taken away? Um, I am upset about it, but, like, I'm on the staff, so I kind of understand what's going on. I just, I do wish we had them back, but, like, it's what it is. What do you think of senior quotes being taken out? I am actually pretty upset about it because... I had mine picked out and I was just really excited about it and I'm really sad we don't get to have them. I'm pretty upset about it because like you wait so long to have that like opportunity to have your what you have to say in the yearbook. What do you think of senior quotes being taken away? It's Raven. I'm pretty upset about it because I, I like to just sit there with my friends and kind of look through the yearbook and like read everyone's senior quotes because they're always like cool or funny or something and now we just don't get to look through them and see them anymore. And I don't get to have a message to express myself and everything I've done this in the last four years. I don't like it. Okay, what do you think of the scene quotes being taken away? Um, personally, I I think it's kind of dumb because I, I had a good quote planned out and like now now I can't do that. All right, Tyler. Howdy. What do you think of senior quotes being taken out? Uh, I think it sucks because a lot of people have been planning them out for a long time. I haven't. But a lot of people say, like, do you do it before high school? So I plan it out. Yeah. What was your senior quote going to be? Uh, the worst thing about prison was the Dementors. <laughs> what was your senior quote going to be? Oh, I have it on my, oh, I don't have my phone. It was by Eleanor Roosevelt, and it was like, um, you don't really know, like, what you can handle until you're done with it, or something like that. Right. Mom was a What was your senior quote going to be? <laughs> I want water more than I want a man, Emily Jackson. <laughs> what was your senior quote going to be? Mine was by Kylie Jenner, and it was, the more people that love you, the more there's going to be that hate you. All right. What's the quote? One more Super Bowl, Evan Anderson. What was your senior quote going to be, dog? I declare bankruptcy.